Today, I'm gonna give you a full tour of my whole trading setup. I think my setup's really cool and I'm really excited to show you it, so let's get straight into it. So we're gonna start from right to left. All the way on the far right, this plant over here, it's actually called a money tree. I have it for two reasons. So the first reason is I'm hoping it'll bring me good luck toward getting money in like my own personal life since it is called a money tree. So it's kind of like a superstition. And the second reason is I feel like having a living plant in your room just helps the room feel like more alive and like less gloomy. So that's what the plant does. But next to that plant, we got the main thing right here. That's my computer powering everything. So I actually built this computer myself. I used to be like a huge computer nerd I'm not into computers that much anymore, but I do still think they're kind of cool and I'm interested in them. But if you're wondering about my specs, the CPU is an AMD Ryzen 2600X and the graphics card is an NVIDIA 980 Ti. And the computer actually is water cooled. If you see like that's the CPU right there and there's those two tubes connecting that radiator. So that is like an all in one water cooling kit. So the computer is water cooled. And then um, I don't think I said on top this external hard drive, I pretty much just have all my content stored on there. So if I'm like recording videos, they get moved to there and then if I'm editing them, they'll stay on there and like the final project will stay on there. So pretty much all my content just stays right on there. And then, so as we move over to the setup, so the first thing you probably notice is these three huge monitors. And actually, the ones on the side, you actually might question how they're being held up. Because if you look under, it looks almost like they're kind of like they're floating. But once you go around to the back, you kind of see how it's being held up. So when you're sitting down, see there's a little bar that clamps on the back of the desk. And then it kind of comes up. And then it kind of holds that monitor. And it has arms that wrap around. So like it has... I think it's called a VESA, V-E-S-A mount. So that's how those two monitors are held up. But when you actually sit in the chair, it is a pretty cool experience. It's almost like surrounding you. Like I'll put top step X. Oh, and yeah, I did, I did catch a win on my Express Funded account today. You can see I'm up like $500. I actually sold at a one-to-one. -one, and then, um, yeah, I wish I held. But following the trading plan is always a win. So, but then this is a, so for the monitors, right? So this first one over here, this is a 34 inch ultra wide monitor. And one of the things I love about that is I can put like NQ on one side and I can put ES on the other. And it's almost like I have a full size chart for NQ, like a regular like monitor almost. And then I can put something on this monitor if I choose to. I currently just have like a live background. But um, yeah, and honestly you see all these three monitors and all this monitor space and you might think to yourself like, oh, how could you possibly use that? But it's like, if I'm putting either like Top Step X or Alpha Ticks or like some platform over there, and then I'm doing all my trading over here with TradingView, and then let's say I'm surfing the web or I have something I'm doing on the side over here, it's like, wow, I just filled up all three monitors like real easy. So yeah. And then um, as for the peripherals, right? This is just a Corsair mouse. I honestly forget the exact name of the mouse, but um, it's pretty comfortable. <laughs> it gets the job done. And this is some Red Dragon keyboard. Again, I don't remember the name, but um, the, honestly, both these, this mouse and keyboard are pretty old. And then um, I have a mouse mat. It's pretty old too, honestly, but it's got like an LED strip on the outside, right? So I think it's pretty cool. This is just for my phone if I want to set it down when I'm trading, but I still want to like look at it. And then um, also, I think this is pretty cool. I got this right next to my setup. It's like a wireless charger for my iPhone, a wireless charger for my AirPods down there. And then um, I can put my Apple Watch on that and it'll stick magnetically. And yes, if you're wondering, my AirPods do say that. You can call it cringe all you want. But um, yeah, I got my, my handle on my AirPods. So one thing I did miss is for speakers. So they're kind of hard to see because they're kind of hidden. But there's one speaker, and that's got like the volume and everything to control it. And there's the second speaker, kind of hot over there. And then the subwoofer is actually in this corner right here. So I have, I have a nice speaker system. So if I'm listening to music when I'm trading, or if I'm listening to something, I can just play it there. And let's say, let's say it's getting late at night, I want to be quiet, right? It's kind of hidden, but there's actually a headphone stand hidden back there. So I can just reach around, grab headphones, just press the button and they're on. So that's pretty cool. So whether I want to be quiet or not, I can get my sound. Oh, and one thing I did mention also is um, there's lighting bars underneath there. So you can see there's kind of light coming down. I can actually control it on my phone too. But um, if not, there's like a little like switch panel back there. 
you control the lights. And then, um, yeah, so I always keep water next to me because I do get thirsty pretty frequently. And then um, this thing right here, this little panel, this actually controls um, my bed over here. So um, a lot of people make jokes, call me the bedroom trader. Like, yeah, I do live with my parents. Like, I'm not going to act like I'm like living in some penthouse or <laughs> I'm like very well off. So like this is in my parents' house. This is my setup. But um, that controls the head for my bed. And one of the things I can do from there is... Um, Wow, this thing does not want to turn. I'm going to turn this way. There we go. Okay. So there's the TV. So then I can just lie in bed. And I can watch like an educational video, but it would be coming from my computer. Because technically this computer is hooked up to four monitors. Technically. So yeah. So yeah. Press that to raise and lower the bed. So here's my bed. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention. I mean, obviously, I'm sure you saw it, but this pillow right here, one of my prized possessions, it's like supposed to be a $100 bill, except it's a pillow. So I think that's pretty cool. And then above my bed, this is actually the thing I have up there. So it's kind of like just a cool design, but it's got like Einstein. It's got like all these little designs that I like. So I kind of have that. Um, above my bed and there is that lighting strip that goes around my whole room again I can control it from my phone like change the colors brightness it is pretty useful but um yeah so that's that and then I mean I guess I'll finish around show you the rest of the room while we're at it right so there's just an air conditioner a scale in case I want to weigh myself it's actually a smart scale it'll tell me like my BMI and stuff there's my closet just with the majority of my clothes but I still have dressers right and then down here this is actually I love Mountain Valley spring water and um, I'm kind of a water freak. So um, I've gone through most of these, but sometimes I'll be drinking like Mountain Valley or Saratoga water. I actually have a reverse osmosis water filter downstairs too that I've been using a lot more. But yeah, this is just my dresser, right? You see you're on Tim Boulevard, in case you were wondering. This has just a bunch of candles and food pretty much in it. There's the thing I was telling you about where um, there's the TV and then there's another dresser. My shoe collection and surprisingly i actually have a second desk because right there is where i started right there's the money tree this used to be my desk but i bought like that l-shaped desk and i'm a lot more of a fan of it but i couldn't really and i also wanted my setup to kind of be in this corner and not this corner for some reason but um yeah so this is just my old desk so i figure if i'm ever like writing something or like if i take my laptop out and i want to work my laptop for whatever reason i kind of put it here and i kind of have like my cologne collection because like i kind of i'm kind of into cologne and then um yeah i got some other weird random assorted stuff on the top shelf like pretty much a bunch of supplements and some weird exotic snacks <laughs> but um yeah it's pretty much the tour of my setup and now real quick i just want to actually go on my computer and show you like what programs i'm using and all the software i use on a day-to-day -day basis so let's get straight into that so i've moved over to my computer and i'm recording there right now i got my trusty old microphone and everything i don't remember if i showed you where this microphone was but it's kind of like on the side behind my left monitor and it's got like a mechanism where it kind of swivels and it bends so i can just swing it out of the way and it'll stay there and then when i need it i'll just swing it right back and then um It'll just be wherever I want it to be and it'll stay there. So kind of nice. It's a blue snowball in case you're wondering what microphone. Eventually, one of these days, I got to get like a blue Yeti or a better microphone, but um, it definitely gets the job done. So what we're looking at right now, this is TradingView. TradingView is like the first thing I'm starting up every day pretty much. It's like the best charting software and it's my favorite. So there's a couple things that you can only do on TradingView that like you couldn't do anywhere else, right? So let's say you're trading on Project X, like such as like Alpha Futures, like the Alpha Ticks platform, or you're trading on like Top Step X, right? So, for example, there, you actually can't look at the four-minute time frame, and there's sometimes I'm wondering if there's a four-minute gap, and that's kind of important to me. And also, let's say if you need indicators, they only have a set amount of indicators that you can use, but like on TradingView, you can pick from like a huge selection of indicators, like whichever community, community indicators you want. I'm really not big on indicators personally, but there are some indicators I like using that map out things that I would have mapped out for myself. It's just like automating it pretty much, like such as like session highs and lows. I like using an indicator for that, for example. 
But um, yeah, so I started trading view. I'm also gonna check Forex Factory. Um, I, I'm not really counting that too much, but you gotta check for like economic news. It's just a website. Go there. It's forexfactory.com, and just look for um events on the U.S. dollar if you're trading like the Nasdaq or the S&P or or gold or something like that, because that is a, a U.S. dollar instrument. But um, so after that, I'm gonna come to my web browser, and I guess I'll start with um. So this is Project X right here on Top Step. So this is Top Step X, I should say. Um, I, I keep calling it Project X because it's pretty much the same platform. They just use it for different um, prop firms. So like this is Top Step's version. But um, this is where I execute uh, the majority of my trades, pretty much. So like they give, they do um, a lot. Of, um, prop firms give you the option of like what platform you want to use, and I typically use Project X. I like it for a lot of reasons. Like one, when you place your order, it'll show you like really easily. I feel like exactly how much you're gonna lose, like a dollar value, and like. I don't know why, I just feel like it's easier to execute. Like, I, I actually am struggling to put into words why it's easier to execute here compared to Trade Evade, but it just is, like, you can just drag, like, if I were to, I'm not going to, but let's say if I were to place a position, I can just grab that position, swing it down, stop loss place, and it just immediately shows me how much I would be losing. Just really nice features. I know you can look on Trade Evade, like, if you're signed to Trade Evade and trading through there, you can see your take profit in terms of money instead of, like, ticks or whatever it is, but, like, I don't know why. I just me personally, I like the alpha. I like the uh, top step X, like an alpha ticks platform. So I'm always executing on there. And then, if I'm ever wondering how much to risk, I use this position size calculator website. So you type in if you're doing NQ micros or minis, and then you type in your account balance, like how many points you're risking and what percentage of your account. And then down here, it's going to show you how many contracts of like MNQ or NQ should you get into, how much you're going to risk, and what type of margin is required. It's very useful. I feel like in the future space, I don't know why, I feel like I struggle to find a good position size calculator. I feel like when I traded Forex, they were everywhere. And now I trade futures and it's like, I can't find them for the life of me. But this is the one I use. You can see the link all the way at the top right here. I'll put it down below too if you're looking for it. And then um, I guess I'll go over trade of eight next. So when I am not trading on like alpha ticks, like for example, like my funded futures, when I trade with them, they actually don't offer Project X. They're one of the only firms. Yeah, I think they're the only firm I really trade with that doesn't offer Project X. Besides, sometimes I trade with Tradeify, but I'm not too sure. I'm still, I think they're a good company, but I'm still filling them out. But um. So yeah, so when I trade my phone in futures, I, I have to use the trade vape pretty much. Slash Ninja Trader, they're owned by the same company. But um, when I actually use those accounts, I technically could sign in to TradingView and just trade through there. But honestly, I'll do my charting on TradingView. I'll just open up this right here and I'll use the trade vape trade copier. So see like at the top, it'll show like, it shows my account number and it says plus three fundeds. So I kind of have them all linked together. So when I place a trade, it'll copy trade them all across. And um, I have used Replicanto in the past. I don't know why. I just feel like it's easier for me to just execute here compared to Replicanto. Even though, yeah, I did pay for Replicanto. It was like $200, I think. So, or I, think I, I think I got it on sale, actually. It was like 10% or 20% off, something like that. But um, I don't remember, honestly. But yeah, so I paid for Replicanto, but I don't use it. I'd use a trade of a trade copier. But I am pretty sure that if... Because um, my fund of futures actually allows you to have five 50K funded accounts now it used to be three so i'm i'm funded with three from when the, the max used to be three but um i'm pretty sure the trade of eight trade copier limits you with three accounts i think i'm not 100 sure so at that point i might either have to go back to replicanto or use something like trade sinker that's like a cloud-based trading platform but um yeah so also for my personal account i do use ninja trader so um it's honestly almost the exact same setup i mean i just forgot to get rid of this like I think it's called DOM on the right side. I'll just get rid of it right now, actually. So, yeah. So, they pretty much look the same. I actually did take a trade on my live account. I know I kind of under-risked. I wasn't too um, confident in the setup I took. So, yeah, I made 37 bucks and 68 cents. But um, still green on the day. I'll take it. But, um, yeah, so that's my live account. So, for my live account, I'm using the same platform, except it's run by NinjaTrader, not Trade Debate. They're the same company, pretty much. So yeah, and then I'll show you um real quick. I'll just show you Forex Factory. Yeah, so when you first pull it up, it'll probably look something like this. But I actually do have some filters where see like by currency. I'm only looking at the U.S. dollar because I don't really trade Forex. I only trade Nasdaq, and the Nasdaq is a 
like a US dollar instrument. So I only need to know news on the US dollar. And one thing that's pretty cool here though is like when it comes out, it'll show you like the forecast and then the actual. And like if you're wondering, like, oh well, if the forecast is greater than the actual, what does that mean? So like see like measures and it'll like explain usual effects. So it says if actual is greater than the good for the for is greater I'm sorry. If the actual is greater than the forecast, it's good for the currency. And good for the currency means bad for the index. You can't forget that one. Because if the US dollar is gaining value, the NASDAQ is going to be going down, like gold, SPX, right? US 30, all of them, right? They're inversely correlated. So yeah, you always got to check if there's news. Because like this is 8.30 news. But for example, though, if like if there's 10 a.m. red folder news and you're in a trade at 9.50, you're going to want to be aware of that. And sometimes I even wait until after if there's red folder news at 10 a.m. I'll literally wait until after the news comes out to take a trade. So um yeah. But also, just to wrap this up. So um one of the things I use to like improve my trading, right, is FX Replay. So FX Replay is a backtesting platform. If you're not familiar with backtesting is, all it is is I can rewind to a certain date and time. So let's say it's like 2015, like I want to go to like 2018. And then when I actually go to that date and time, I can replay by like, let's say one minute at a time or five minutes at a time or 15 minutes at a time or I can fast forward to the next session. And then at any point I can stop that replaying and I can place like limit orders, market orders, stop orders, pretty much as if it's live time. So you're trading as if it's live time, but you're trading the past and you can replay at any speed which you choose. And then from there, it's going to give you analytics. So it's going to say like on Monday, your win rate 77%, like 70%, for example. And then it'll say like your ideal risk to reward. So it'll look at your trades and it'll say, hey, like I know you took profit here, but your average risk to reward that these trades are going to is a two to one. And that might not even be something that you're tracking. And you can, there's a built in journal too. You can take screenshots of your trades. You can look through your journal. It pretty much just has all these tools. And even if you look over here, it says battles, right? It says it's in beta, but they actually add this other thing too, where you can battle other users and you'll both get like the same period of time or something like that. I'm not too sure on the exact specifics because I, I haven't really used it too much, but you pretty much battle against a, another user and then whoever does the best wins. And it's like a way to make like backtesting more interesting, competitive, and almost like a video game. So it, honestly, I really stand behind FX Replay. So I'm going to put a link down below. I'm actually going to give you guys a 15% off discount code that I have. So use that link down below and also use code TIMB272. It's going to get you 15% off. So if you go check them out, use that code, it'll get you a discount. So I think it's a great opportunity. And then lastly, just for me logging my trades like in live time, I actually use this thing called Notion. So I don't want to show you guys the exact document I'll use. So I'll use like some like knockoff I was messing around with. But so like you could have your trading log, right? And then you could put like trade number and then you'll put what date and time you took it on. Are you buying or selling? What day of the week? Like what model you're using? Was there any news that day? I'll put like what entry time frame, my stop loss size. So you can see I'm pretty much putting a lot of information, right? Like what quality the setup was, any additional notes. And then I'll put links to even like, let's say I'm wondering what it looks like on the five minute, right? I can just click on that and get a screenshot of the five minute chart at that time. So huge amounts of information here. And then see, like I have all these columns set up. So then I could click on Monday and I could look and see like, oh, well the sum, like for example, if I lost, I put negative one and it's gonna sum these, right? So I could say on Monday, I'm up this amount and my win rate is this percentage. And I can get all these facts just filtering just by clicking these buttons. And I can add a button up here too, if I'm wondering like my win rate on like Tuesday CPI days, for example, that, that, that's a ridiculous thing to test. But let's say like when CPI comes out on Tuesday, am I winning or losing more? You could pretty much just search anything you want. So make your own trading log, make it tailored for you. Cause I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to ask like, Oh, can I get your trading log? Like tailor it for your own trading. Right. And just like look at what I have and use that as an idea and base things off of that. So yeah, so that's pretty much all the software I use. And then I showed you guys a little hardware. So before we wrap up, I just want to remind you guys of all the discount codes that I have. So firstly, like I just talked about before, we have FX Replay. Use that link down below and code TIMB272. You're going to get 15% off. And also, I have a code with Alpha Futures. So if you use code TIMB272 at Alpha Futures, you're going to get currently 10% off all evaluation types. So the zero plan, the standard, the advanced, 10% off all those plans. So go check out Alpha Futures. I'm going to put a link for them down below as well. And they're honestly my favorite prop firm. And I... 
I highly recommend them. I also highly recommend FX Replay. So go check out both these things. But if you watch this video all the way through, I would really appreciate it if you could give me a like, put a comment down below, and also subscribe. And I also just hope you have a great day.